Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, from the title of the video, we already know what this video is going to be about. Please, a quick disclaimer. I'm making this video on the 8th of November 2023 because as of now, as of this date, there is no provision for students to come in with their family on a mortar study visa. The reason for this disclaimer is maybe tomorrow, next year, or whenever, mortar can actually open up that pathway and say, okay, yes, students are now you know allowed to come in with their family members. But for now, as of today, being the 8th of November 2023 that is not available i'm here to answer one particular question that i've gotten over and over again i've gotten a lot of emails a lot of messages and it's only one person it's only me i'm studying i'm working it's just a little time i have that i'm able to even reply some of these emails and messages so you send me a message or an email and I do not reply immediately please know that <laughs> of course i'm busy i also have other things i do aside youtube so i hope we all understand that so i've always gotten this um question can i come with my family on my student visa the simple answer to this question is no you cannot um someone told me that an agent that was you know helping with the application told her after three months her family can join her some said six months some said after a year i really do not know where all that lies is originating from but the truth is it is not possible for a student visa a mortal student visa you are not allowed to come with your family you cannot come with your family you cannot come with your spouse, you cannot come with your children. I don't know why people out there would deceive people into making them believe they can. Just because you want to go on with your visa application and collect your fee as an agent. I mean, that's not fair. It's really not fair. And please, I would say we can do our research ourselves. Even if you paid someone to do something for you, it wouldn't hurt to actually go online. And search for this information because everything is online. You do not you do not actually need to pay to gain access to this information. Once you go to the Malta site, the identity website, Malta Identity, or I think they call it Identity now, the Malta Identity website, just go to um, the student visa. You wouldn't see anywhere that is stated that as a, as a student you can come with your family now i'm not saying it's not possible for your family to join you even though you're a student i mean there are other ways what i am pointing out is you cannot use your student visa it is not possible you know to come with your family on your student visa but then there are other ways you can yourself can come in as a student and then your family or your spouse and children can come in through the nomad residence visa the nomad that's for the remote workers if your spouse is a remote, um, has a remote work then he or she can apply to come while you one person is studying the other person is you know working remotely you can do that or the best you can come in as um through the tourist visa although that is a short stay visa so it's only going to be for a few months so it's either your um, spouse joins you also as a student i mean the two of you can um, apply as both students the husband can apply to come in as a student on the student visa and the wife can also apply as a student to come in on the student visa I know of a newly married couple that actually did that and it worked for them. They bought the admission, they bought the visa and they came in together as students. So that is an option if you have um, enough funds for that. Or the normal residence visa, that's for people that have a remote work. Of course, you need to show a particular amount of, that you earn up to a particular amount of money though that has its own processes and criteria and everything that is another option so as a student maybe your spouse can you know apply for the normal residence visa 
and then another one is the student um, unification visa but you can only do this after you're done with your studies and then you get a full-time job you cannot as a student i've not heard or read in any way that you can I, I mean i've heard but obviously those are lies because i've not seen it on the mortar website i've not seen it on their cv website i've not seen it anywhere so as a student you cannot i repeat as a student you cannot apply for you cannot um, come with your family you cannot apply for a family reunification visa because i mean you're still a student you're barely even here for one year even if let's assume okay you're doing a bachelor's degree which is three years there are other criteria you go through the um, criteria for a family reunification visa you see there are so many things involved you have to you know be a resident in Malta for at least two years there's a money um what's it called there's an an amount of money you need to be able to earn depending on the number of people you're you know planning to come in with if you have two children three children four children there's a calculation of income you need to show that you earn to be able to you know make them and believe that yes you can take care of yourself as a sponsor and also your family that you're inviting over and of course the size of your house has to be um, certified by an architect that it is okay to contain the number of you know family members that you're inviting over there are lots of things you need to show your um, income statements your previous income statement maybe six months or I don't know the Duration of months you need to show that for. And remember that as a student, you're only allowed to work 20 hours per week. So if for a family reunification visa, one of the criteria you need to show is that you need to show your income statement. You will need a particular sum of money to convince the officials that you can take care of yourself and your family. Tell me. As a student that is only allowed to work per time, part time, how are you going to be able to convince the official that with your part time job, that you're going to be able to take care of your family also, not just yourself? So we need to think about this, make sure we do our research well to avoid falling victim of scams and lies. Please. And you need to show proof that you intend to be a permanent resident in Malta. This is for the sponsor. So there are so many things involved that you need to show. Let me ask us this question. If truly, if truly that it was possible for um, students or for people to bring in their family on a Malta student visa, do you think People will be out there asking, can I bring in my family? No, that wouldn't be the question because it would be common knowledge. I mean, everybody will know about it. Or people that are interested in schooling in Malta would know about it, that yes, they can come in with their family. But it's not. It's not possible. That's why the confusion is there. That's why some people are actually confused. Not all. Because if you've done your research well, you know that you cannot come in with your family on a student visa. Please do not allow anyone to deceive you. Please do not allow anyone to scam you. <laughs> Please do not fall victim of that. It's not true. It's not possible. Please make your findings. Check online. Go to their website. Every information you need is on the website. I mean, it's there. It's there. It's not hidden. It is there. So please, um, you can write directly to the email to even ask questions and when they get back to you hopefully if you can call you can call to ask the questions please do not just believe anything anyone tells you make your own research to be sure that you're actually getting the right information and yeah i think that's all i have to say so the basic and simple truth is no you cannot come with your family on a multi student visa Although your family can join you, is it that your spouse uses the normal residence visa or the tourist visa, which is short stay? So even if that works out, your spouse will be only staying for maybe one, two, three months, and then will have to go back to their country and 
What are that method? Your spouse can also try getting a job and join you here on a work visa. So you here in Malta, your schooling, and then your spouse comes to Malta to join you on a work visa. That also works. There are other ways, which I'm only, I only know of these two for now. But what I'm just trying to say is, as long as you're a student, that is not applicable. Okay? All right. I hope this is able to um, this video has been able to help one or two people answer some questions and you know clarify you on this particular information. So please let's not be misguided. And if you're out there, and you've heard of or seen anyone that actually brought in their family as a student on a student visa, please let me know. I would even love to ask the person how they did it. I mean, if it is not through other methods that I've uh, explained, please let me know that they were able to apply for a family unification as a student. I would like to know, but I don't think there is anything like Thank you all for watching this video to this point. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for my other videos. And have a wonderful day and stay blessed. Bye.